Hey cats, my name is Janelle and welcome back to Niche. And today you might notice a difference between these two nichelings right here. Um, other than the fact that one of them looks almost completely different which a with a brand new gene that some of you guys might have never seen. Um, yeah, uh, Niche recently released a testing update for the, um, for this, for the game, and I decided that I would play it, because <laughs> why not? So, yeah, it's not the complete thing, so I am expecting a few bugs, but that is okay, because it's just really cool. So these two nichelings, um, I engineered both of them myself, um, just to I don't know, just to test out the new thing because we're allowed to customize our nichelings and I would have shown it to you guys but I, I, there was a lot of deciding involved with it and I feel like that would have bored you, bored, I, how do you say that, I don't know, bored you. So yes, here we are with our two nichelings. This one is named Willow and she is from a tribe of bats but recently she, I mean obviously she was from a tribe of bats, but she only has one bat wing, which is definitely a no-go for a lot of her t tribe mates. So they threw her out and she met Bramble, who decided that he would help her try to get back to her tribe, but with a brand new tribe of bat winged nieslings. And that's, that's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, if you just look, we do have the bat wing in our mutation menu, but I don't know if I really want to use that just because. So, yeah. But before we even start, we should probably breed the two and set up their mutation menus. I'm still wondering whether or not the Batwing should really, like, be there, because I think that kind of gets rid of the whole challenge aspect, but I may change my mind later down the road if I give up because this is kind of more of a casual gameplay so I can show off all of the new amazing features um, but yeah so for now I think I'm gonna go the um, not putting the bat wing in the mutation menu aspect just because oh, where's the fun in that okay guys so I'm sorry if you guys really wanted to see me do that um, so yeah, I'm, there's not really much I should put in their mutation menu, maybe, yeah, no, I got no idea. So I think we're just gonna, you know, wander into the swamps. We are in the swamps just because, and we already found a berry bush, which is good. Oh, we found two berry bushes. Unfortunately, Bramble, not coming from the bat-winged lineage, does not have a lot of swamp genes. He has lived here for quite the while. But he's really not really accustomed to these poison berries because he does not have the poison bags. Anyways. So I think I'll have Willow. Let's just sniff around. Oh, we have a person here. Or a, a nicheling, I guess. That's what you call them. Hello. Please come back. Um, okay, well, nicheling, the <laughs> nicheling obviously is a little shy. So we're just going to position Willow right here. Oh, she has a leech. Whoops. We're going to position Willow right there so she can have her child on the next turn. Or the next, next turn, I guess you could say. So we'll have Bramble tend to his new mate by licking her wounds and she will make a new nest. And grab some food, obviously, because she's the only one who can really grab these foods. So, yeah, actually, um... Yeah, there's not really much we can put here, so I'm just going to end the day. Hmm. Okay, so this nicheling inherited the um, savannah horns. I forgot to mention that I put them on Willow. And they also added new names, like, like new name options. And they are, well, I tried them out, and they're pretty much impossible to pronounce, like, pre-prevon, like, how, how do I say that? I don't I don't know. So, um, yeah, I'll just name this little guy. 
Um, I think I'll name him Puma. Uh, we're not gonna go for a unique name list because I don't really- I mean, I guess I could put some bat species names in my new name list, but uh, I kind of made this tribe on a whim because I heard that the new testing beta came out and I was like, wow, that's cool. So I, that, I just jumped straight into it. So there wasn't a lot of planning here. I just kind of made this on a whim. So if you guys are okay with that, I'm okay with that. So if you guys want to tell me some names that I could perhaps use, that would be cool. So yeah, let's just end the day. Okay, so Puma, you should crawl out of the nest so we can have more children. We unfortunately have not stumbled upon any other nichelings other than that one nicheling that I, I don't know where he went. It didn't really look like he had any genes that could help us anyways in our um, quest for bat wings at least I guess. If we wanted some more gene diversity with immunities, uh, we could go find him I guess. Okay, nicheling number two. Looks like he also inherited those savanna horns. Um, looks like the savanna horns are dominant over basically all of the other horns, because I think it would definitely be dominant over the antenna, so, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, so we have a new child, and he looks pretty good. Okay, what should I name you? Um, unfortunately, I have a terrible affliction that doesn't allow me to name these nichelings very well. I'm very indecisive, is what I'm saying. So, yeah, we'll have Willow just gather more berries. The perk with these is that... Oh, I'm running out. I don't... Okay, well, I was going to say that the perk with them is that a lot of other nichelings can't really steal them, so we don't run out easily, but we're running out pretty easily, so... Whoops. Oh. Okay, so I heard a Berryena somewhere out there, all the way over there though, so is it stuck? I don't think Berryenas can go into rivers, so I guess if I wanted Bramble to go crawl his way up the stream and attack the Berryena, we could, but we're pretty good on food, so maybe we'll just let it live for now. I mean, it is a little cruel to just you know, have this Baryena minding his own business. He can't even move because of all the brambles. Haha, <laughs> brambles. Because of all the thorns. And some random creatures just won't leave him alone. Bramble, we'll just have you breed again. We're just gonna have a lot of children, basically. Just so we have a better chance to have one of them pass on the bat wings, which they haven't done yet, which is a little, a little disappointing. But we'll just keep pushing forward. Okay, that one does not have the bat wing either, and I'm not mad, I'm just a little, a little disappointed. This one's called Anamita, which is, I mean, that's pretty easy to pronounce, but just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna name her Amanita after the mushroom. She does look nothing like an Amanita mushroom, which is like those red and white ones, but I just thought since her name was Anamita, I'd just change it around. Okay, so we'll have Willow fix up this, this old nest, and I think it's time for Bramble to teach his son some new, some new hunting techniques. Oh, okay, that worked rather well. I'm, I mean, I'm not used to these nichelings being as strong as they are. I mean, I guess one claw doesn't really count as strong, but I didn't expect that crab to die so fast, is what I'm saying. So, Thyme, you're a little softer than your father, and his and your brother, so I think you would go off and go f try to, I don't know, find your own path, I guess. I don't really know where that other nichling went, but maybe you can run into him, who knows. Oh, I just saw a little, a little movement of bugs and oh, there is a nichling here. It's, I don't think it's the nichling that I was tracking, but if Thyme could be stationed there, maybe that nicheling will come up to him. Who knows? Okay, someone got a leech. Who was it? Okay, it was Bramble. We'll have, um, 
we'll have Willow fix you right up. So she'll breed with him and get rid of that leech and grab some food. Oh, okay. So, well, we found that nicheling that we were hunting earlier, but I'm more interested in this nicheling right here. Um, Lias. Okay. Well, looks like you have the bat head in your inactive traits, which. Do you? No, you don't. Okay. Which is one of the new things, and I'd definitely like to see that on our nichelings since we come from bats, so naturally. And I think we could allow you to come join us too. And we should also probably get away from from these bugs. Uh, yeah, that's we're not really capable. Well, I guess our nichelings with the stinky tail do. But unfortunately, little Lias and Duke Nug... Duke Don- okay, I'm changing your name. I'm sorry. I can't- Duke Donler. That, that's just weird to say. Am I wrong for thinking that? Like, yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna look through our name list and see what I could name you. Um, it always takes me way too long. I think what I'm gonna name you will be Brian, since you're obviously from the ocean by the looks of it, with your frog toes and your fishing tail. And, um, for Elias, I think I'll keep it as that. She kind of seems like Elias to me. Anyways. Ooh, lag spike. Okay, I think all this, <laughs> all this, uh, Ryan is tripping my PC out. It is not the youngest, so, um, yeah. We'll just see what Willow's new child will look like. Hmm. Looks like those bugs have returned. So, um, yeah. It looks like this Nishling actually inherited that bat wing, which is good. She is a female, too, which is also good. Um. So, what now? I think I will start by naming little Simmy. Okay, so I'll name her Feather, um, even though she has a very distinct lack of feathers on her wing, which is, you know, from the last update, the wings obviously had feathers, but yeah, her name is Feather. So we're just gonna get rid of this. Okay, I think what's happening is that the bugs are starting to lag me out, so if we could just walk away from them. Oh jeez, okay, what's going on? Okay, so if we could just get away from them, that'd be good. Time. Okay, we don't have the bat head yet, which means that we can't really collect any bugs, which I think the bat head is the only thing that really collects the bugs. So, yeah. So we're going to have to pull that out of little Elias's uh, genes, but she is a little young, so we're going to wait for a moment on that. But Brian, I think, since you're getting a little old, that one of our nichelings would probably take a liking to you if they're old enough. Actually, wait, I don't think any of our female nichelings really are old enough to breed with you. Okay, well, hmm. That complicates things. So, Lias, maybe you could breed with Brian. Um, it's not exactly the best gene pairing, if you ask me, since they are both wanderers. But, is there anything I want from you, Brian? Um, you do have these two new immunity genes, but other than that, there's not really much to you. So I think I'll let you live out your days over here, and we'll just have Lias be the, the new immunity gene provider. And oh my gosh, these bugs are being one heck of a headache, if you ask me. Um... Things are lagging out a lot, so I think I'm going to be right back to try to restart my game. Uh, and we're back. Um, I think my computer is running a lot better now. So darn you bugs, we better start trying to eat you sooner or later. But yeah, okay. Uh, that was an ordeal. Um, maybe we could ward them off with our stinky tails. Let's see if Imanita and his father can try doing that. Well, Elias... Uh, let me just start a little planning for you. Maybe Puma, since he is one of the oldest. So we'll let, we'll let you guys spend some time with each other. Maybe Puma will sleep, sweep, uh, sweep you off of your feet. 
So, you know, let's just end the day. Oh darn, I think these bugs are setting their eyes on Brine. Run, Brine! Uh, maybe not deeper into the swamp. Um, there is a little bit of regular grass over here, which, I mean, there's a little bit of, I guess, a jungle, which is a little surprising, but there is a swamp port, or a jungle port here, so, okay then. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, now that little feather is old enough to get out of the nest, um, I don't know, we've only got eight nichelings, so I guess Bramble and Willow would breed again, which is fine. I mean, like, they were setting up on a quest, and I'm sure that they do really like each other, so that's cool. Puma, I think it's time for Lias and you to breed. Um, yeah, we're just gonna set Lias up on this, this one nest here, and we'll just manage their mutation menu from there. I'm not gonna configure the snouts because, I mean, it's not like we really have any. It's because I want that bat head. Definitely want that bat head. And yeah, other than that, maybe some better eyesight, maybe some horn. Actually, wait, I don't think we have horns. In yeah, okay, we don't. So, yeah, okay. Um, again, not putting that bat wing in our mutation menu. Be just yeah, you know, come on, guys. So, cause where's the fun in that? So we're just gonna scoop up this dead clown koi. I have no idea how long it's been there, but it's, I guess it's dead. So, um, yeah. So eyesight, and I think that's kind of the most we can really do for this nicheling. So, yeah. Um, I think she has a deformed paw though. So we're just gonna go ahead and put the regular paw in there. So yeah, Puma, you can just bat away all of the pesky um, flies. Uh, yeah, they're just getting everywhere, but good thing they're not lagging me out anymore. So yeah, let's just see what Willow's next child will look like, if we can just zoom in. Okay. Um, I heard another Bergina noise, but I'm pretty sure it was just turning around to try to look at some of our nichelings, but again, he's trapped, so, oh well. And, oh, we have our first spiky-bodied baby. That's okay, um, I did just put the spiky body on Willow, just, I don't know, just because. And, yeah, let's just take a look at this new nicheling named Memiel. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. Uh, I think I'll keep it as Mimiel just because I think it's hilarious. So we're gonna have Puma try to ward away these pesky flies and we'll keep... Li well, I guess we can move Lias up a little just to survey the area atop this cliff and then we'll have them breed again, of course. And yeah, um, Willow, I don't know if you want to retire from breeding since we have a new breeding pair again. But it is a little disconcerting that only one nicheling of, like, one child of theirs has the, has the, um, bat wing. So if that disappears from us entirely, I will have to take some action regarding the mutation menu. So, yeah. Anyways, I was right. None of our nichelings will be able to breed with Brian because they're not of age. So, that's too bad. I kind of liked Brian. We did spend a little while trying to hunt him down. Uh, yeah, okay, so Thyme, just go ahead and move along. And, yes, what do I do with you guys now? I don't know. I guess we could start moving up this river. Um, the swamp is kind of one of my least favorite biomes. Just because there's nothing to do here, but I guess due to the new genes, there are more things to do here, so hooray! Anyways, we'll have Bramble just move along over here. Um, I don't know if I want to have Willow stay there just because we could move on, but there is a lot of berry bushes here, so we might as well. Oh no! Okay, so Lias unfortunately has been afflicted 
by the terrible sleeping disease, which I was afraid of, but I thought that maybe Puma could ward him off, but I guess that's just not how that works. So, we'll let's just pick up some berries for her. Uh, we are running a little low on food, if you ask me, and oh, there is a baby here. Okay, um, there's really no way we can get to him because of all the thorns. So, Thyme, if you could work your way around here. Oh, oh, there's more, some more berry bushes. Okay, um, I guess that baby can walk around if he wants to. There's not really a, uh, a bird around, so... There's not much worry, uh, there's not much cause for concern. And also, Amanita, there's a crabbit here. Oh, it left. Okay. I guess it really does not want to be killed, which I guess is understandable. So yeah, we'll have Feather just go ahead and start grabbing more of the uh, grass. Sorry, sometimes I'm just at a loss for words because you know, what, what do I even say when they, when they get grass? It's not the most interesting thing, I have to admit. But the next interesting thing, I, well, I guess we could kind of zoom in on Lias's child. It would be interesting to see what it would be. Oh. Okay, so unfortunately Lias is still afflicted, but this is a swamp baby. Just, I mean... The black spots, the like mud graver. Okay, uh, we also have Ressi who has the bat wing, which is good. So um, let's just go ahead and name them. I did keep that Mimiel's name because I just thought it was so funny. So yeah, let's just name Izona now. Um, I think I'll name her Raindrop and I'll name Isri. Well, I guess Isri's kind of more of a raindrop, if you ask me. But I think I'll name her Mallow. And I guess that'll be the end of that. So we'll just wait another day for them to breed. How old are you guys? Okay. So, um, yeah, I am having a lot of children with them. And I guess these guys. And... That's fine, I think, because we just don't really have a lot of nichelings, but the gene spread will not be great. So, oh well. Oh, wait, there's that baby. Oh, I totally forgot about him. Okay, come back, please. Aw, uh, he's gone. Okay, he'll come back later, I think. Um, Mimiel, just go away from the butt. Oh, there he is. Okay, so, um, I didn't really get a chance to look at him, but Van Ronu, okay. So, you don't really have a lot of genes I've, I've been looking for. So, I don't know how much I really want to have you around, just cause, I don't, I don't know. Um, ooh, look at this little spot filled with berries. That's a good spot if you wanted to have children there. Um, is that berryina still there? I think so. So, I think I'm gonna have some of our niche slings try to go attack that attack <laughs> attack that berina just because I, I I I want I want its meat okay I we're getting a little hungry I've noticed cuz a lot of our niche slings can't really live off of these poison berries cuz we're kind of losing that those poison fangs so it yeah I guess we could have more children cuz we need more poison fangs that's a, that's a good reason there is this one berry bush that doesn't need the poison fangs, which is good. So if we could go around looking for more... Oh, there is one right there. Oh, whoops. Okay. So, Bramble. Um, I'll have Willow step out of the nest, and you can probably breed with her. And then you shall go on your quest to go slay the Baryina to grab all of the meat, I guess. And I think my meal will go with him because she does have that claw. And even though she doesn't have the horns like Bramble, um, yeah, I think it'll work. After all, the Baryina is basically defenseless at, the, at this point. Um, it's not like you can really go through any of the rivers. But I need to be careful because Bramble will die, I think, if... The Baryina catches up to him, 
So, I don't know how much of a good idea this is. Actually, okay, retreat, retreat. Um, and instead, we'll have his sons do it, because we do have a healing fruit, which will allow the nichelings to not ha take too much damage. So, my meal, you can lead the way, since you're just such a great nicheling with such a great name. And we'll have Willow have her child, of course. She'll just roll her eyes at her mate, because he just... Realized that he probably can't be up for that, so yes, Van Brunu, you should probably get out of the way of all the flies. Syme, what can you do? Um, you found a nest next to a berry bush, which is good, but you cannot pick from any of these berries because of the poison fang thing. So yes, let's see what Willow's next child will look like, and of course, Lias's. Okay, so that was uneventful. Um, let's take a look at the children. Siri, okay, uh, ooh, she has the bat head. Okay, good. Um, what should I name you? Oh, this is always, like, very painful, because I just don't know what to name these children. But I'll name you, nope, that's not how you say it, Rosemary, just because you have those pink horns and those green eyes. It's, it, it works out, okay, trust me. And, um, Rusty? Okay, nope. Oh, I didn't even name... Wait, what? Wait, I didn't name the Seashling? Oh darn, okay, and I totally for- Oh, yeah, I was gonna name it Mallow, right? Yep. Or... Okay, future shale here, I was not gonna name that Seashling Mallow. If you can see, Mallow is literally right there, so just ignore that, okay? Just didn't work. That's fine. And our new Seashling, No Kirta. Okay, usually it'd be new Kirta, but I, I, again, new name thing, not a big surprise. So, um, yeah, what do I name you? I, I don't know. I, I'll never know. Um, I think I'll name you Adder, because you've got those amazing fangs, so you can grab all of those berries with one fell swoop. Haha, <laughs> get it? Cause, cause wings. Okay, I think I need to end the, <laughs> the end. I think I need to end the episode here. We are a little low on food. Okay, I haven't forgotten. It's just a little hard to gather food. So if you have any name suggestions, comment them down below. I'd appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.